Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ekwereka. Thank you so much for all your support. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome to my channel. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Today, I'll be making a peplum blouse, African print, lining, and I'll use this for the peplum. This is um, color stay stiffener. I want to cut the upper part of it. The fabric is folded into two with biggest measurement, which is bust measurement. The bust measurement that I'm working with is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half plus 4 inches seam allowance, 15 and a half. But I have a 16 inches here. So this line is shoulder line, bust point, under bust, half length, and 1 inch seam allowance. I'll cut this savage off. I'll cut this off. My measurement is, is here. So, from shoulder line to this line is 10 and half because my bust point is 10 inches plus half inch seam allowance, 10 and half. From shoulder to this line is 14 and half inches. My under bust measurement is 14 plus half inch seam allowance, 14 and half. From shoulder to this line is 17 inches, my waistline. And this is a one inch seam allowance half inch to sew it to the upper part and half inch to join it to the lower part i'm going to mark my bust palm measurement my bust palm measurement is um nine inches half of nine inches is four and a half plus half inch seam allowance to join it is five inches so i'm going to mark five inches here So here I'll mark my neckline three and half by three or three and a half by three and a half or three by three. My shoulder measurement eight inches. My shoulder is sixteen. Sixteen divided by two is eight. Eight inches. So I'll, I'll now come down by 9 inches, half of my round armhole. Half of my round armhole and also my chest line. I want 8 inches here also. Okay, I marked my neck width and neck depth, shoulder line. I came down by 9 inches. 9 inches is a half of my round armhole. My round armhole is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And is also my chest line. So on the west line, I will mark half inch on both sides. On the underbrush, I'll mark one inch on both sides. One inch. So because it's off shoulders blouse, you'll minus some inches from the upper part because from this line, this is shoulder line. To this line is my waistline. So I want to minus some inches, take some inches away because it's off shoulders. So I'll minus six inches from shoulder line. But if you want, you can minus four inches or five inches. But I'll minus six. Six inches. Okay. 
So from this point, the shoulder line, I'll mark what I have here. I have four and half. Half of four and half is two and quarter. This is two and quarter. I'll connect it to my boss point. Okay, on this side, I'll mark half inch. On this side, I'll mark one and a half. So I'll connect it to this point. But if you like, it can come up by half inch, but it's still okay. So I'll connect this one, one inch on both sides, under brush, one inch on both sides. One inch on both sides, waistline, half inch on both sides. I'm going to take the measurement. The boss measurement I'm working with is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. 11 and a half. I measured what I have here. I have quarter 0 0.75. So here 11 and a half. Zero point seven five and two and a half inches in my allowance. I'll two inches in allowance. Two and a half inches in allowance. My waist measurement. The waist measurement is um forty. Forty divided by four is ten. Plus this one inch. Eleven. Half half one. Plus two and a half inches. I'll connect the line. So this is the neckline because I'm going to cut this off. I'll cut it from this line. This is the side that I want. So these two inches here, I'm going to add it here. Half inch and one and a half, two inches. I'm going to come down by one and a half inch or two inches. I'll use one and a half. I'll connect it to this point, V neckline. You can use two inches if you want. 
I'm going to mark the neck width. I'm going to use six and a half inches for this. Your shoulder measurement, you minus one and a half inches or two inches, or preferable, you measure from where you join the sleeve to the other side. I have 13 inches. So 13 inches, half of 13 inches is six and a half because the fabric is on fold. So I will use six and a half. So six and a half, I will shake what I have on this side. I have five inches, five inches. So five inches minus half inch in allowance, I have four and a half. So I'll put four and a half on this line because I'm not going to measure this side. I'll put four and a half here. And this is my six and a half inches. This is, this is six and a half inches. I will add seam allowance. I need half inch on this side to join it. And also half inch on this side to join it to the sleeve. So I will mark one inch here. One inch. So from here, I'll connect it to the armhole. So I'll mark four inches from this neckline. I'll mark four inches. four inches so I will connect it from this point to this line So on this side, I will come down by more half inch to make it two inches. I will use two inches here. But if you like, you can use one and a half. I will extend it to two inches instead of one and a half. But one and a half is fine. So I will connect it. So I'm going to cut it now. So on this side, I'll cut it on the two inches one. Okay, so I've cut it. If you like, you can use one and a half so that you use this for seam allowance. It's fine. So this is what I have. I'll use it to cut the main fabric because I'm going to use this as lining. I'm going to cut the back one. The fabric is folded into two. Quarter of my bust measurement, 
plus one inch seam, uh, zip allowance. You can use one and a half inch for your zip allowance, and two and a half inches for seam allowance. So, because it's off shoulder, I'll minus six. This is starting line. I'll start from six inches. Six inches. This is ten inches. That starting point is nine inches. Or your chest line go down by one inch. So my chest line is nine inches. I went down by one inch, which is ten inches. So I'll mark my dart from here. So on this side, I'll mark half of my bust pan measurement. My bust pan measurement is nine inches. Half of it is a four and a half. This is my waistline, 17 inches and 1 inch seam allowance, half inch to sew it to the upper part and half inch to join it to the lower part. I will cut this one off. Four and half. Half inch on both sides. I will connect it to this point. So this is my back dart. Okay. All my measurement is starting from this line because this is zip allowance. You can use one and a half inches for your zip allowance or two, but I'm using one inch. One inch. So I'll mark my neck width. I used six and a half. The front side I used six and a half. So this is six and a half. Neck width. Plus half inch seam allowance, seven inches. On this side, I will come down by four inches. I'll mark four inches here. So from this seven inches, I'll connect it to my bust measurement. My bust, bust measurement is 11 and a half <coughs> from this line plus 2 inches to my allowance. 2 inches is okay, but I'll just put 2 and a half because I have to. 2 inches is fine. When I finish, I will trim the seam allowance that I don't want. I'll trim it off when I finish. So I'll connect it from this line to this point. Waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Plus this, that, 1 inch, 11. And 2 inches for seam allowance. I'll connect it. The neckline, if you want, you can leave it like this, but I'll cut down by one and a half or two. One and a half. I'll put this like this to connect it to this point. So now I'm going to cut it. On this side, you will come in by half inch. 
on the zip line to eliminate puff half inch connect it back to this side So I'll measure another one inch for zip allowance, then I'll cut it. This is what I have. I'll mush the dart. Zip allowance. You will mush your zip allowance. So I will use it to cut out the main fabric. I'm going to cut the lower part of the blouse. I'll minus my half length from the full length of the blouse. From my shoulder to half length, half waistline is 17 inches, and full length of the blouse is 26 inches. 26 minus 17 is 9 inches, plus one inseam allowance, 10 inches. Because it's layered um, pep on two steps, the upper one will be like minus three inches minus two inches or minus two and a half inches but i'm going to use a minus three inches i'm going to use six inches plus one inseam allowance seven inches so what i'm going to cut the peplum that i'm going to cut is seven inches after sewing six inches nine ten inches after sewing nine inches to get the waist radius i'm cut i'm going to cut 720 degree peplum i'll divide it into two my waist measurement is um 40 40 divided by 2 is um, 20, plus 2 inches seam allowance is 22. 22 divided by 6.28 is 3.5. So I'm going to cut the 10 inches per plume. 3.5 is the waist radius plus 10 inches is 13.5. So I'll measure 13.5. About 14, 13.5. I'll fold it into two. Yeah, 14. So on this side, I'll measure 13.5 again. I have 15 inches here. So it's folded into four. It's folded into four. So on this side, I'll mark waist radius 3.5, then the length of the pattern. Point five ten inches from here I have thirteen and a half thirteen and a half
from this point 3.5 from this waist radius to this line is 10 inches so I'm going to cut it on this line and also here so this is what I have I will use it to cut the main fabric. This is for the front one. So I'll put it on another fabric and cut the back one. I've used the lining to cut out the main fabric. I also cut the shorter one. So but once you cut the first one, what you do is to fold the fabric into two. Put it on top. So you will cut this side and use it to cut the second one. So the smaller one, you will use the same waist radius but different length. This one is um, 10 inches. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.